Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you liked that one. Thank you. Ending, of course, with the 1812 Overture, including live cannons from the mouth of Neil Broadbent. How about that? Years of practice to get that. That's a... Now, our next number, I'm sure you are all familiar with, in some form, Ravel's Bolero, a piece we all remember was originally written for full symphony orchestra. So how can four of us play it properly here on our own? Well, the answer is we can't. So we're going to need some help from you in the audience. So, now don't panic. Anyone could do this, what we're going to ask you to do. But we do need, is everyone getting a bit uneasy? Don't worry, anyone in the world could do this. We do need two volunteers to join us here on stage just for a couple of minutes. So looking out there, raise your hands, anyone? This table, someone's volunteering him. I don't, I don't want to press gang anyone. Everyone's studying their shoes down this neck of the woods. We've got one. OK, you haven't got far to walk. Give him a, give him a round of applause as he makes one to the stage. Thank you, sir. What's your name? Averon, okay? Okay, don't worry. You, you're gonna stand over this side of the stage. Graham's gonna show you where to go. Welcome, sir. Thank you for joining us. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Uh, Itai. Itai, okay. Now, Sophie here is gonna show you exactly where to stand, Itai. Okay, our two volunteers. Volunteers? <laughs> but don't worry, you'll get them back. They don't know what they're gonna do. Let me tell you what they're gonna do. They're gonna help us out at what can only be described a very important moment, a crucial moment during Ravel's Bolero, so watch carefully. Okay, the good news, we have our extra players just getting ready, looking great back there, guys. There is sadly some bad news. I don't know how to break it to you. We forgot to bring with us from England any more of these unusual electric instruments. So now that the guys are playing us, we don't have enough instruments to play together as a group. So what are we gonna do? Well, watch this space back here and see what happens. Gentlemen, well done. Thank you very much. Thank you.
very much, gentlemen. We couldn't, have, we couldn't have done it without you. Thank you very much for being good sports. All completely live for you. We are a close family, after all. How about that? So you have enjoyed this evening, ladies and gents. It's a great... Thank you very much. I'm glad you have. It's a great honour and privilege to play here at this fantastic venue. And we're broadcasting live, so I... I don't know whether anyone's watching broadcasting live, but we don't know anyone's watching. It's a bit like going on Fox, really, but there you go, Fox News. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I took a gamble. I thought that might be an unpopular channel here, but uh, I could be wrong. That's ruined my career on Fox, not that it was. CNBC, okay, I'll revise that. Can we edit that? Live, you say, live, oh, okay. Well, have we got time for one more this evening, ladies and gents? Good. Good, because we've got 40 more for you now. You think I'm joking. Ladies and gentlemen, set your watches as String Fever now give you the history of music in five minutes. <laughs>
Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. We're honoured. On court, did I hear someone say? I've got a plant out there. Thank you. We're going to leave you now with some rock and roll. This was, in fact, written and first sung by Chuck Berry, who I spoke of earlier on, although many other people have sung it as well. The Beatles, ELO, have covered it, so I'm sure it'll be familiar. Thanks for coming out, staying up late, getting up early, whatever it is, to watch String Fever Live. Thank you, and good night. Thank you, you've been watching Sophie, Neil, Graham, I'm Ralph. Good night!